Hi guys, Gareth here, also known as Rookie, and welcome to my Friday vlog. Hey! So, I got some big news for you guys. But first, before I do that, I'm lying to you again because technically it's 20, 20 past uh, 10 on Thursday when I'm recording this. So I'm lying to you again, it's not actually Friday, but it's because I'm going to be in the car when this is, when this is probably going to be uploaded to you guys. So I do apologise that you're not actually going get, to get another vlog on a Friday, but you will get on a Friday if you know what I mean. So, my big news. Um, I basically sound, signed to the um, Mika's Gen a family. So basically, I am now a part of a YouTube network. I am no longer an independent. I have now signed them. So they're a really good studio. Um, part of the Mika studio, one of the arms of that. So hopefully, yeah, it's it's going to be good. It means I'll probably be able to find more some people to collaborate with, so I'll be able to grow my channel a bit more. It also means I'll be able to get a bit more money in, which I can then force into this channel, and then also help improve, so it means I'm going to try to push this now and actually make this something, rather than just doing it for a bit of fun, I'm actually going to try to push my channel to do something with. Which also then leads me to me actually putting money into this channel now. The things I've put in this channel, there's been one or two games I've bought, which I've then played just for this channel, and there's also been then um, the headsets that I've bought, um, and also been fraps that I've bought for recording and things like that. But I'm actually going to spend some serious money now. I'm actually going to buy myself a um, camera. Which one I'm going to buy is the Canon uh, PowerShot S1110 and a tripod to go with it so I can actually do some proper vlogging rather than me sitting here in front of my computer so I'm actually sat down you know I can stand up and do different things so I can also record other things rather than just things that require me to stick, stick here so I could actually perhaps do something on my cooking and show you how I cook some of the unusual food that I eat maybe do some of that you know some of the some other type of vlogs you know I can actually stand and hold things and and do things like that. So I'm going to throw some money at this channel, basically, that's what I'm saying. The camera actually probably the most money I spend in one go on the channel, probably the most expensive thing, but it's going to be worth it because I'm now going to try to do things to make things a bit better. Speaking of throwing money at things, um, this basically this week slash last week, I've bought tickets to 20 different gigs from here until about October, I think. October, yeah. You know, and with that, inclu that includes hotels, trains, uh, flights, and, and other things that I need. So that's a lot of money I've just thrown away. That's why I'm waiting now until Monday, when I, once I've had my pay, so I can actually then basically buy the camera, I think. So hopefully next Friday's vlog, you'll be, I'll be doing it on the new camera. So there'll be a lot of selfies on um, my f on Instagram with me testing out and all of other interesting, see how good the camera is, and maybe a few even a few e even little um, gifts or something like that, depending on how it goes. So yeah, that's going to be good. Um, yeah, one thing I've ever one thing on that is the most I've spent spent on one gig ticket, one gig ticket, and this was for an early bird. So this is as cheap as it's ever going to be. I spent forty six quid on the Warp Tour, um, which is coming to the UK. Uh, in September, I think it was now. But I basically I bought my early, I also bought hotel and flights and transfers and all the rest of it. But that forty six per ticket alone, that's the most I've ever spent on a gig ticket. I really do hope it's worth it. Really do, but it probably will be. Yeah. So um, yeah um, and carrying on from that. Yeah. So I'm reading my notes on my phone as usual. Um, let's see if we can focus that. Can I focus that? There you go. See, there's all my notes. See. Um, yeah, so um, basically, uh, um, I use basically all my holidays, all the holidays I have from work, apart from the enforced two weeks at Christmas, because um, we shut down for Christmas two weeks, therefore I spend those two weeks, I actually go home, be with my family, you know, my brothers, my mum, my dad, and that for two weeks, which is great for me, because that's technically like a holiday, um, you know, especially now that I'm in Glasgow, but I use all my other holiday days that I have, I generally use them to go to gigs, and I find that I'm using one day, I think it's one day this year, or maybe two because I've had other days off, two days, maybe three, I think it's actually only one, it's only one, yeah, only one day this year, and I'm using, that's not gig rate, and that's because of my dad's birthday, which is 70th birthday coming up, so I'm taking time off work to go, so I can be there for that, so that is the only day, so the rest of them have been using, using gigs, I think I have three left to book, so um, I'll find some gigs for that, <laughs> so yeah, but my holidays run January to January, so... Yeah, I'm halfway through the year, booked booked up a load of holidays, so it's gonna be interesting, yeah, yeah. Um So I went to a gig last Friday, obviously why the gig, gig you didn't have the gig video. So I went to um 
see Beartooth in Edinburgh, so I went on the Mega Bus, which surprisingly actually wasn't the Mega Bus. It was basically the normal 900 service, which is really weird because the Mega Bus price is like half the price of those tickets. So yeah, that was quite interesting. Um, yeah, on that tri- on that bus tri- trip there, basically a guy sat next to me and he stunk off raw potato. Oh, really bad. I can't. B- you know, it's like, and that's why I don't like in the bus, but it was so cheap, it was well worth it. Um, it was really weird queuing for that gig, actually. Um, I don't like queuing generally, but, you know, I got there, I got to the front, I mean, I was nowhere near the front of the gig. People were probably queuing for hours to get in there. But, it was, hey, it's not my problem, that's their problem. But, yeah, the queue was quite long, and the way these people kept on darting to the front and running back, down the front and running back, they're like 14-year-old... Uh, just queue up, man. Running back and forth. And what's that going to get you? You know, getting getting you tired. Um, yeah. Um, and that was a really weird because that's the first time I've been ID'd. I got ID'd in that place, but everyone was getting ID'd. So you know, but I really, it was really nice to actually get ID'd. It made me feel really good about myself. Maybe that's the beard look. What do you think? Could have shaved it down, shortened it down. Um, yeah. There was one thing I'd say, but like, I didn't put in my gig review video. Um, but. It's merch. I mean, I buy merch at probably every gig I go to generally, um, especially for like the bands that are playing. Uh, but I spent what I would call an extortion amount for a hoodie. Um, I would know if I know how much it would. I wouldn't have asked one. I just assumed it was going to be a price you know, thirty quid the most, and it was a lot more than that. Um, I ended up buying it anyway because it is a really nice hoodie, but. I would not have spent that money on that hoodie if I realised. Yeah. Um, this happens, seemed to happen a lot with American bands that come over. Um, they was it have their merch, the price seems to be set a little bit higher. Um, I don't know whether they just convert dollars and just make them straight into pounds. Um, or maybe, I don't know why, but I did check their website and it's actually, it would have been actually cheaper if I bought it off their website than buying it at the gig, which is unusual, but hey. They got paid for their tour somehow. Um, yeah, so that was that was not not good, not good at all. So um, if you've been following me on Twitter or you follow some of it, I had a lot of problems with my headset, and this new headset, with getting feedback. And I found out what the problem was um, after recording uh, Wolfenstein, which is the videos are going up at the moment. Uh, that's my current Let's Play. Um, basically, on the recording. Uh, basically, it wasn't recording actually through my headset because it was set up to record through a different device that was default. So though I was getting the sound, when I, the recording wasn't actually recording sound because this wasn't set as the default for some reason. So it wasn't recording from the Turtle Beach. It was recording from um, the digital, which is basically well the monitor sound because that's plugged up with HDMI, um, which is which wasn't really the best. And that's why I've had all this feedback. I've reset it now, sort it, but I played three hours of gameplay, right? Of recording with no gameplay sound, so I had to redo that all of it. Which is so annoying, but I got it done, which is good. But but it basically put my um, videos back longer than I wanted them to. I wanted them to be done a lot sooner, a lot sooner than that. Um, yeah, so I fixed that audio problem because I realised what the set is. Just my settings were wrong. Um, um, that's something I, ca- I can talk about now, actually. Um, it's been on my list for ages. It is basically uh, Total War Arena. I've basically been playing that. I'm in the alpha. Um, the NDA's finished, so I can actually talk about it now, which is great. Um, but I'm probably going to do a video on it, so I'm probably not going to talk about it now. Um, I'll just say I-, I really like it, but it still has a few... You know, if you play a lot of Total War games, it's still got the same tact, so you actually have to be tactical. But it's online only. Um, so basically online multiplayer only, which... Yeah, it's alright, but uh, the problem is when you don't play with people, it's hard to get tactics across sometimes. Uh, but calorie is still OP, and, you know, and it's just... Anyway, I'll talk about that in another video. We'll all talk about that. Um, another thing I want to talk about is stupid challenges that have gone, gone around recently. Obviously, it's all been across Twitter, yeah, everyone's seen them. I mean, the Charlie Charlie Challenge, or whatever it's called. Just for those of you who may think it's real, that's fair enough, that's your beliefs, but just to let you know that this was actually made by a ten year old as a prank to his little brother. Right? If you've got results, great, whatever. But you know, if you believe in that stuff, why do you even bother calling a demon into the room? You're an idiot if if you think if you think that's cool, you know? Uh, and the other one which I think is really stupid, which is the paracetamol challenge. You guys just need to be tapped in the head to be able to do that. I mean 
come on, you're trying to kill yourself? You know, you have smartphones, you know, you have access to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right? You have access to Google, you know. It's easy just to Google paracetamol challenge and see what it is, or even Google the side effects. I mean, I did it, right? And basically, th this, is, this is the case of it, right? You take eight paracetamols, you're going to do yourself permanent damage, right? That's not eight paracetamol across it, it's eight, eight at one time, right? Eight paracetamol, and you're going to cause yourself permanent damage. 20 is probably likely to cause death, yeah? 20 plus tablets, and it's likely to cause death. Although this varies from person to person, because basically it works out on milligrams, but basically, for me, who's, uh, I'll try my weight now, 100 kilograms, basically 30 tablets plus would kill me. Right, fifteen would cause me serious damage. Um, I I've done this by googling, it and you can work it out on this tables and charts. I actually, work it out on medical journals and things like that. So it's that easy to find out. I'm not telling this so you guys can do yourself. I'm telling yourself to make yourself aware, not to do these stupid things. I mean, it's varies. No, if you're if you haven't even if you have an empty stomach when you do it, it's actually less. So if I had an empty stomach, fifteen would be enough to kill me. So yeah, just think about that thing. That's only 15 times a tap box comes in 16. So you basically take a box, I could not eat, take a box and kill myself. Yeah? And I'm a big guy, yeah? A lot of the people who are doing this have been teenagers who are a lot smaller, a lot lighter. So yeah, think about that stuff, guys. Yeah? I don't want to end on a negative note, so I'm going to tell you a story that happened today. I'm getting really raggy with the road. Sorry, um, that's a Newcastle word. I don't know where that came in from. Uh, I'm getting really angry with, with the roads at the moment. Um, not the bit on the motorway. The bit on the motorway I'm fine with. It's getting on and off the motorway where people just seem to try to cut everyone up here in Glasgow. And I basically have my hand on the horn the whole time just beeping at people. I mean, today I nearly T-boned someone. You know what T-bone is? It's when you basically hit them side onwards. Basically because I was driving. He was in this lane here. And I was in this lane here. So we were like going like that. And he decided to pull across there. So I would have just... Basically, if I hadn't slammed on my brakes and stopped, I would have gone straight into the side of him, and I would have probably ripped my car off. Because we're both going about probably 40 miles now, maybe 50. So, yeah, so that guy basically nearly took himself and me out because he decided to change lanes when he shouldn't have done. Anyway, I feel like that's brought a negative end to the video, but I've had an okay week. Now um, it's been cheered up by obviously by getting, joining a network. I mean, I've been stressing about quite a few things. Um, one of them is obviously the money I've spent out on gigs and paying bills. And the other thing is obviously, another story I was going to leave for next week, but I'll say it this week, is I'm actually auctioning my flat in Swansea off. Um, so if I saw that, things would be great, uh, be brilliant, but in t that's that's a big stress in my life. Selling or buying a flat is m one of the most stressful things you'll ever do. Buying is a lot more stressful than selling, but selling still is stressful. And some of the auction is even more stressful because why if it doesn't meet the reserve or doesn't sell, you know? Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, have fun.